Hello, Etta here. I'm here at the end of the week. It is Saturday. Uh, what would that make it? January? I don't even know the dates anymore. January 8th. Here we go. I'm, I'm already getting lost on my days. Anyway, it's January 8th. Um, I should have remembered that because it's the last day of the melting cycle for the first week of our low buy collab, which the first week was feeling the blues. So we were all melting blue wax <clears throat> um, or blue, could have been scoopables. Some people had scoopables in theirs also. Um, I just had wax. Anyways, I... Um, had a pretty good week. I didn't finish everything that I was planning on uh, that I had pulled. I did get through a lot of it, um, which felt great. And um, I was even down two warmers for most of the week, uh, one by choice. And the other one, due to the fact that the light bulb had burned out and it had a specialty kind of light bulb in it that I was having a hard time getting a replacement for. So I was down two warmers. Anyways, I have my basket here and this is actually the second time I'm filming this because the first one had a bunch of difficulties with it and including the fact that I felt like it was just way too long. So I need to jump into this one before I make this one last too long also. But I did want to point out, um, don't forget to go check out everybody else's um, videos of what they warmed, what blue stuff that they went through, although you would have seen it probably in their melting baskets probably. Um, but I do know of two other people who decided to um, start doing I think some some of the stuff I know one for sure and that is Natalie and what is Natalie's channel name melt with Nat and Jack so I'm going to show you real quick melt with Nat and Jack Natalie I know is doing the collab with us or you know join is joining and I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken that Lisa with two E's is possibly also doing a following along because it looks like she was doing some blue and I'm pretty sure I remember her saying something about it. At least in my mind, I think that's what I remember. Anyways, I'm gonna jump into what I did. So first thing, I was separated into an another bag what I did on January 1st because the Feeling the Blues was January 2nd through the 8th. So I have what I did for January 1st here, what I finished. I did what I had left of a shape from Rain Rainbow Melts of Shiver with Fear. I did that one in the mudroom. I kind of liked it. wasn't like wasn't like a favorite, but it was okay. Um, this one I did the entire. It was like little snap bars. You get like three rows. There's four snap pieces on each row. This is from the pharmacist's daughter called Mountain Air and it's got spearmint, eucalyptus, peppermint, fresh air, and seagrass. This one I got like a medium kind of throw from it. I think I might have done it in the wrong room um, but it, it did smell good. I did like it. Uh-oh. Uh Lost a bag. I think I might have thrown it in here because like I said, I had already done this video once and I was trying to figure out what was uh, already and what was, <sighs> and I obviously I messed it up. All right, anyways, I had, oh, here it is, right there, okay. So I did these two together on um, January 1st. I had these going in the sunroom slash living room. I had, Blue Spruce and Twinkle, both from Hayden Row. Wonderful, wonderful um, together. I love, uh, Twinkle is like Satsuma with like an effervescence, like a little fizzy to it. Um, sparkling, it's very, very, very good. I love it and I especially love it with the Blue Spruce. I like that combination of Blue Spruce with Satsuma. So I did that, loved it. I finished a like a little pie thing of Eggnog Gingerbread from L3 Waxy Wonders. I have since determined between this one and the eggnog one that I had from Sensi that I'm obviously not a big eggnog person. So it wasn't against anything against this scent. I think it's just me. I'm not a huge eggnog 
person. Um, it did well. It didn't like super fill the room, but it it did throw pretty well. Just not my thing. And this one, I remember I did it in the kitchen on January 1st. It's called Lighting the Menorah. And it was from L3 Waxy Wonders. It was a little sample that I had gotten. Um, I don't remember what the scent was. I do remember that I loved it. That it was really, really, really good. It threw really well. Um, I still can't really smell it out of the bag. Not enough to really jog my memory. But I did make like a mental note that lighting the menorah, I would absolutely get it again if I saw it. I liked it a lot. So that's what I did on the first. Now what I did for the week of feeling the blues. All right. I finished my clamshell of Crazy Coconut, which I had been kind of holding on to. Was afraid to use, but gosh, love that scent. Absolutely love that scent from Scentsy, and I would absolutely get that again. In fact, I hope that at some point it gets voted back and I get to have more of it. I did um, my bar that I had of My Hero, which I did some by itself and some I mixed. Um, when I did the first video, I had the bar with it of what I mixed it with, but yeah, no, not this time. Um, no, I think it was, yeah. It was Blue Sugar from L3 Waxy Wonders. I did mix a Scentsy with a vendor. I have no problem doing that. I think some people think like, do you, you know, do you mix vendor with Scentsy? And yeah, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> if I think the two scents will go together well, I'm mixing it. So Blue Sugar and My Hero, I thought did really well together. And that's not, I mean, some My Hero I did by itself and some Blue Sugar I did by itself, but I did mix them at one point. I did my bar of Justice League. And I actually enjoyed it more this time than the first time I did it. Um, I found that when I did it in the room above the garage, I actually thought it smelled good in there. So sometimes it's where you melt something as to how you think you like it. I had this in there, this one brick. It had six cubes original. Oh, when you saw it the first time, and it was Olaf Warm Hugs. I think Olaf Warm Hugs does really well in smaller areas, never in a large area by itself, but I did do it in a large area. I did it like in the living room. I did it in the uh, dining room. I tended to do it in the Yankee Candle Warmer. Sometimes I did it as part of a blend in other warmers. But when I put it in the Yankee, I usually usually did it by itself. I did mix it a couple of times with something. Um, and I found that it did really well, especially if I had something else going in the other warmers. So I did enjoy using the rest of my Olaf. Uh, what did I use? Oh, I was talking about before I mixed the My Hero with some blue sugar, right? Well, three of the cubes of blue sugar, I mixed with the last three cubes I had had of fluffy fleece. That did really well together because I didn't really like fluffy fleece that much. It wasn't really my thing. I wasn't like, if I had another bar, yes, I could warm it and not, not have a problem with it. I just, not looking to go get more of it. But with blue sugar, I actually enjoyed it. This one is um, one that I did on the landing, which is the top of the stairs to scent my two-story, oops, I'm moving the camera. I'm sorry, the handle to the basket was hitting the, the thing. Um, I like to do this on the landing because it's the two-story foyer, foyer area and um, it does really well there, but it's like, it's like the only place I like to warm it. Because I'm not super crazy about the scent, but it does really well there. And I, that was inhale, exhale. So I did two, both uh, bars of that. And some of it I did in the mudroom and it lasted a couple of days in there. Um, so I definitely like that. And it lasts on the uh, landing also. I did my bar of Eskimo Kiss, which when I um, pulled it, I had said it's not one of my favorite scents. 
And in the clamshell, I just, I just don't like the way it smells in the clamshell. Something about it. Um, I know it's supposed to have like blackberry and some other stuff. Warmed, I liked it a lot, lot more. Um, still not like a favorite, but I definitely liked it a lot more on warm than on cold. And it's not called Eskimo Kiss anymore. Um, I think as of this catalog season, the fall winter catalog season of 2021, they changed the name from Eskimo Kiss to Polar Bear Hugs. Um, did this one in my bathroom upstairs in my room. Um, I would have put it in my, I have a Yankee candle warmer in there. So I would have put it in like a little scent cup thing. This is from Jim's Daughter Crafts. It's called Viper. And it says a light masculine shaving cream scent. I really don't know. It smells great in the in the little cup it smells awesome um but i don't remember the scent and i think it's probably because i probably turned it on and then wasn't in the room and then didn't go back into the room because i was probably having a busy day so i didn't actually smell that one um which is a shame because it does smell really good in the in the little cup I'm trying to pull some of these empty bags in here ah Darn it, I'm dropping everything. All right, this um, I finished up this morning in the living room. This is from Vintage Chic Scents. It's called The Thing, Icy Peppermint, Mentholatum, Eucalyptus, and Fresh Lemon. I wanted to finish this up in there because Hubby's kind of hanging out in there. He caught a cold, so he's not feeling all that great all week this week. And so I've been trying to help him out with some minty kind of sense to see if it'll help with um like opening up his sinuses and stuff finished this one up i put it in my bedroom yesterday evening um like my warmers would turn off and then they'll come on again in the evening for a while and they'll turn off and they'll come on again so i put this one in yesterday evening in my bedroom breath of god i only had a few pieces left i think like maybe a total of five pieces and i spread them between my two warmers in my bedroom they were small pieces they fit easily within one of those little liner cups and um this easily will last me until tomorrow so because this is a great scent throws wonderfully it's my husband's favorite so enjoying that one this one had three little faces or whatever in it it's from Brita's creepy treasures it's called the gatekeeper and it's palo santo tobacco and bay sugared spruce and toasted marshmallow i did those three pieces in here and my three warmers here did pretty well um i'd say i got about a medium from it uh this one was a bougie bar from l3 waxy wonders it was krampus hooves um, smoked from the black flame candle, blue sugar sweater weather. I actually enjoyed this one. I thought it smelled really good, but it was a little on the lighter side. <coughs> it, it did well. It just didn't super fill the room, but I had it going in the dining room where it was probably struggling a little bit based on, you know, the area. Um, let's see, I'll put these down for a second. This one I did in my bathroom upstairs in that Yankee warmer. It was two pieces in here. I used both pieces. This is from L3 Waxy Wonders Lighthouse. Sea air, white musk, lavender, cashmere, amber, tonka, cedar, and plum. A lot of notes, but I find it a little on the light side. I didn't find it strong enough. Um... Like I can smell it in the bathroom, but I smell it more as I get closer to the warmer. It's not a scent that like really throws in my bathroom. It's not something that when I walk into the bathroom, I can smell it and go, oh my gosh, it smells good. It's more of a light background kind of scent. I find Lighthouse, I've had it before as part of another like blend where it's Lighthouse something something. And that I thought was really, really good. But just Lighthouse by itself is a little too soft for me. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to get a little water. I've been a little on the coffee side today. Mm. I think it's my body that's been fighting the cold that my hubby hubby got. I'm trying to stay, trying to stay healthy. All right. 
couple that I did in the kitchen. This is telekinesis. Um, I thought it I thought it did okay. It was a very bakery kind of scent. I remember not knowing what it was going to smell like based on the name. But it was definitely a bakery scent. And um, it was okay. I wasn't crazy about it. This one was also a sample from L3 that I did in the kitchen. It's blueberry muffin brown sugar pie crust. And, you know, I've said many times that my nose doesn't always pick up bakery all that well. This one, I didn't pick up all that well. I think um, <laughs> the more bakery notes that are in there that are going to be ones that I'm not really going to smell that much, the, the harder it becomes for me to smell. Because, like, maybe if it was just blueberry muffin, I probably would have been able to smell that based on the blueberry, right, with some bakery behind it. But then you add in the sugar and the pie crust, and it, it just... It, it just basically disappears for me. So if I got like really close to the warmer, I could smell it. But other than that, yeah, no, not, not so much. I did my bar of coconut cotton. I've said before, hubby's not so crazy about that one anymore. That one's in the current Bring Back My Bar selection for January. So if you do like it, now it's time to get it. I had two cubes, I think, in here only. Um, and this was Adventure is Out There from Up. This one smells good. Um, to me, very kind of citrusy. I liked it. Um, I don't know that it's... I like it so much that I need it for my club, but I definitely enjoy warming it if I have it. This, I had one single little cube in here of Blue Spruce. From K and Melts. Love Blue Spruce. I may even have done it when I did. No, because I did that one on January 1st. So I had to have done this one. I have no idea when or where I did it or with what. I might have mixed Blue Spruce maybe with a little Olaf or something like that. Just to kind of give it a little something. <coughs> Let's see. Jim's Daughter Crafts. I did uh, the full little snap bar I had of fresh outdoors which was lemon ozone melon green notes fir needle pine blue spruce and evergreen and I'm pretty sure I did this in the living room there would have been like eight little cubes and it's not a, like a really thick one it's a it's a thinner kind of bar so I would have done like three three and two on my three warmers got about a medium from that one um, trying to find the ones that are empty. Oh, did my, um, give me passion flower, which I said in my video when I showed you the basket that I find that to be a very great fruit scent. You could absolutely, you know, like sometimes you open the things and you think, oh, I can't really smell it anymore or whatever. Yeah, I could still smell this one. Mmm, grapefruit all the way for me. Love, give me passion flower. I took it out of my club a long time ago. Kind of regret it because I'd, you know, I'd like to be able to keep warming it, but you can only, you know, get so many before you feel like, okay, it's time to come out. All right. Um, I did, this one was also in my club. Took it out a while, but a while back, but it is in the current January selections of Bring Back My Bar, so it's going back into my club. And that is a thunderstorm. I love that scent. It's a very, very floral forward kind of scent, but I get a like green grass and a floral note from it. Mm, and like a sweet grass. Love it. Absolutely love it. I, let's see, what else is empty? That one. Trying to find the empties before I get into the things that still have some wax in them. All right, I think that's... Oh, here's one more. Okay, that's one right there, though. All right, so this one I... Well, I guess I should do the empties, huh? That still has stuff in it. All right, in the rest of the empty empty, this was a sample of Blue Raspberry Jello Cotton Candy Fizzy Soda. It was a sample from L3. I did this one in the kitchen. Did wonderfully 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 so i enjoyed that um 
I did this one in the half bath. It was a sample that I had gotten from the bathing garden and it's called Brain Freeze. And awesome. It did wonderfully. Um, I definitely got, this is one I can still smell the bag. It's a strong mint scent. Beautiful. And I definitely got more than 24 hours from this one. It was just fantastic. I loved it. I um, had it in my cart this morning because she still has some. And I put it in my cart. Wind up emptying my cart. We'll talk about that after I finish going through these. Um, let's see. This one had four little pieces in it. It's called Pink Lemon Cotton Candy. And is it Rose Girls? I think it was, I think it's a sample like from Rose Girls because it would be like little mini melters. So I think that's who it's from. Um, this one I wanted to do in the kitchen, but due to the technical difficulties I was having and couldn't use all my warmers and basically was down to one warmer in my kitchen by almost all week, almost. Um, I never got a chance to do this one in there. So what I did was I put it, I put three of the cubes in here this morning and the last cube I put into the half bath this morning. The half bath smells great. I've gone in there several times just to go, to go. Um, and the pink lemon cotton candy smells awesome. I can smell that sweet lemon scent. Um, the cotton candy makes it sweeter. It smells really, really good in there. It's a little on the lighter side for the bathroom, but it smells really, really good. In here, when I came in to come do the video, I got the slightest whiff from it, but very, very faint. Um, I don't know if it's based on temperature of the day, uh, the conditions of the temperature and, and the house, the ceilings, the, the room size, um, or if it's just something that my nose wasn't gonna smell that good unless it was in a very small area like the bathroom. It smells really good, I just can't smell it other than the one in the bathroom. And then the two coffee ones that I had, which were from Empire Alchemy. This one was um, coffee and cravings, peeps, yellow cake, pretzels, white cake, frosting, vanilla crumb donut, and fresh brewed coffee. <clears throat> that one's going today. And um, it smells pretty good. I think it's, uh, I put it in earlier this morning and it's like, afternoon now and it's kind of dying down so I don't know it's not too not too there anymore it was pretty medium to high throw this morning but it's already pretty dwindled down and then this one I did yesterday in the kitchen um the other empire alchemy it was the night he came home Dark roasted coffee, vanilla crumb donut, vanilla rum, cream, and birthday cake. I think that's what I'm reading. <clears throat> I think I showed you the other one. I hope I did. Um, like I said, I did this one yesterday because yesterday was the first day I had two warmers, the two regular warmers, let's say, in my kitchen. The one was didn't have a light bulb all week and I was having issues with getting the right light bulb for it, so... Until yesterday, I really couldn't do two warmers in my kitchen. So I did them yesterday and today. So I enjoyed that. Oh, I left brain freeze off to the side here. <laughs> All right. Then what I still have that I didn't finish. So I only used two cubes of my bar of Maui Mist, which I said Maui Mist was for um, my half bath. But between brain freeze, Maui, uh, brain freeze left, lasted more than 24 hours. Maui missed two and a half to three days I got out of it because I keep the door closed so it lasted really really well and whatever I did at the beginning of the week I might have done like a mint or something like that. I, I didn't have the need to change the wax too often in the bathroom so it lasted all. I didn't have to use it all. 
All right, this one I did get a lot of use out of. This was, um, Carla had posted that she had some extra cut bags, and this was one of the scents that she had, and so I picked it up. Um, this was Twisted Peppermint, and I think I had only used one of the little pieces from it before I started, and there's usually, usually about 16 pieces in here, and I'm down to four, so... I did pretty good with that one. <clears throat> I had my uh, loaf that I had cut up of Elsa from Hayden Row. I used quite a bit of that, including some today. Um, I mean, it's, you know, I still have quite a bit, but I did use um, not quite half of the loaf, but probably more than a third. And this one was another loaf that I had cut maybe a couple of months ago. And this one was a custom that I had done with the pharmacist's daughter. It's called Dancing in the Rain. And it has graphite type, November rain, and white clouds. I still have maybe about a third of my loaf here. I think I've, I think I've done close to two thirds of the loaf. Very fresh scent, very, very good. Um, I, I enjoy that one a lot. This one had four pieces. I only used one. And this was from L3 Waxy Wonders of A Thousand Dreams. The, the one that I did, I think it smells really, really good on Cold Sniff. But I find even on Cold Sniff that it's on the lighter side. So I didn't, um, I haven't used the other, the rest of it yet. And this one from Rose Girls, I did this one in my bedroom, but I did not finish it because kind of like, um, kind of like the bathroom where some scents last longer than others, I just didn't have the need to change the wax as often. Um, but I did at least on one of the occasions use some of Christmas Morning Sex, beautiful minty scent with uh, Morning Sex, I think is kind of like a spa scent in a way clean fresh spa and the christmas part gives it a mintiness uh, it's really really good i really like it so i have some more of that to use um i used four out of the six cubes from the um they're like clams that aren't in a clam shell from destination wax of frozen frozen so i still have two left I'm saving these two maybe for hubby to use on another night to help him with his sinuses. And I did cheat a little bit, but before I get to that, I used in the sunroom slash living room, um, I used my custom that I had done with Kay's of Arabian Tent. That is Blackberry Frankincense Winter Linen Nag Champa. It did phenomenally. Of course, it's a scent. I mean, if you do a custom, you're gonna pick scents that you like, right? In hopes that you, obviously, that you're gonna like it, right? But when I when I do them, I I tend to like I've gotten a lot of her clams, so I'll take like one cube of each of the three scents and put them in a warmer. Um, a lot of times, I'll use like my Yankee because it's bigger. And I'll test it that way first to see if I like it and if, if I get throw from it, if I think it's strong enough, all that. Um, so I, so these two customs that I'm going to talk about, I had already done that, right? So I knew what they smell like. So I, I knew I'd like it. So Arabian Tent, love it. And then the other one, um, which was probably, probably one of my original customs with her. Not my original because I know I did some other ones before this. But this one's called um, Jazz Club. And it's Midnight, Egyptian Musk, Tobacco Leaf, and Amber. And it's actually um, available on the site now. But if you look at the set notes, it doesn't say Midnight. I think she says Amber and Sandalwood or something like that because I think that's what's in Midnight. Um, so I, I'm down to five cubes of this one. Absolutely love both of them. Like I said, I tested them before I made them. So, you know... I kind of knew what to expect from them, and um, they really do phenomenally. Um, I'm, I'm not being biased. I think 
Some of these scents do really, really well. Some do not do as well as others. Like I thought Brain Freeze in that bathroom did really, really well. I think Elsa does really well as a mint. Um, the, the Thing from Vintage Chic Scents that has like mint and mentholatum and that one's a really strong thrower. Um, Breath of God. Love that. My husband's favorite. Um, that one lasts a long time and it throws really well. And my my two customs, I think, do phenomenally. I will say that like Arabian Tent, I tested that one probably one month after I got the custom thinking, OK, it's, I've had it for a month. It's ready to go. I think it needed longer. Like the first time I warmed it, I was I was a little disappointed because um, I expected more from it, having had tested it before myself. And um, so I said, okay, maybe it just needs longer. Maybe they're just not cured enough. Maybe one month with her customs just isn't long enough. So when I did it this time, which now it's probably a little over three months, um, when I did it this time, it threw really well in the room and it lasted a long time. I was super, super happy. So take that into consideration when, when you're warming things that sometimes they might need a little longer cure time than maybe you think they do. So here's my little cheat that I did do. So today is the 8th. So two days ago was January 6th, which is King's Day. And in honor of King's Day, having, um, King's Day is also like the kickoff in New Orleans, kind of like the kickoff for the Mardi Gras season. It's traditionally the first day that you're supposed to be able to go out and buy a king cake. And there's lots of places that have king cakes. I've named what my favorite place is that makes king cakes. Um, I miss getting them. <laughs> and so, I had created these two customs in honor of growing up in New Orleans and Mardi Gras and King Cake and all that. And um, I had planned before that when King's Day came, I was going to warm these scents for King's Day. So when the collab came up and it was a blue theme, I, I felt really bad because I felt like I'm not going to be able to warm the sense that I have specifically for that day. And I was like, no, I'm doing it. I'm just going to do it anyways. I did blue 75% of the house and the other 25% I used my customs and I enjoyed it that day for that day. And I still have some left and I figure when we get to the actual two weeks of Mardi Gras time and especially on Mardi Gras day, I'm hoping that by Mardi Gras day, I'll finish these. So I, I plan on continuing to use these once we get into the actual two weeks of Mardi Gras. So I did on King's day, I warmed my uh, custom of pecan praline king cake, which is my second favorite king cake. Um, pecan praline king cake, which is cinnamon roll, vanilla cake pop and caramelized pralines. And I think I've got, yep, I've got four pieces left. So that one I'm probably going to hold into the last couple of days of Mardi Gras. Make it last. And then my big custom that I did, which I actually named King Cake. And that one is Bake Shop, Monkey Bread, and Vanilla Cake Pops. And this one I had done as one of those rose loaves and she did such a beautiful job it's actually you know if you've ever been to mardi gras or you know a lot about mardi gras the colors for mardi gras are purple green and gold so i had asked her to actually do it in those three colors so there's green at the bottom and the purple and then the gold on top i'll tell you what it smelled so good i started off just doing king cake in the warmer that's on the stove and then one piece of pecan praline king cake in the one warmer that I did have in the kitchen that was working and it smelled so good that I was like no no so I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna confiscate the dining room too and I did three pieces of pecan praline king cake in the dining room too so oh my gosh it smelled so good that day I'm not a huge bakery person but 
that had enough oomph to the bakery that I could smell it really good. And it, it really reminded me of New Orleans and I couldn't have a piece of king cake, but that was the next best thing. It was great. I loved it. So that's what I warmed. Um, I think I, I mentioned there's two other people that I know of that are doing this um, collab with us. I, I think I, I feel like I'll have other things I wanted to tell you, but I'm getting confused between what I did in the first video and what I've said in this one. I don't know anymore. Um, I did want to kind of give you a little update. I'm at 35 minutes. I didn't really want to go over that. Um, I have not. Okay, so it's January 8th. We're on the eighth day of the year of part of our low buy. And I did say that I was leaving Sensi out of my low buy because we're in the transition month and we have Bring Back My Bar and we're going to have the new catalog starting in February. And I just can't, right? I can't have Sensi in it. I'll, although I did tell myself I would limit what I get with Sensi, I will keep it to as minimum as I can. Um, and I'm going to keep to that also. But I, as of, let's see, it's almost 4 p.m. on the 8th Saturday, and I have not purchased anything else except for uh, Scentsy, which I did get um, some of the Bring Back My Bars, and um, hope to do that video soon. But I did have a cart with some stuff in the bathing garden, and I had a cart with some stuff from Hayden Row. And I edited them a couple of times. I would close the, the phone and then I'd come back to it and I'd edit it again and I'd close the phone and I'd go back. And at some point I just deleted everything out of my carts from both places and I did not purchase anything yet. I still may go back to the bathing garden because I really want some more of that brain freeze. But I'm trying really hard not to purchase too much, especially since it's only the eighth of the month and we have um, a smaller wallet to work with for our uh, low buy. And it's still pretty early in the month and I I don't want to spend all the money um, and then something comes up later in the month and have to pass it up because I need to stay within the confines of what we decided would be what we can spend for the month. So I'm trying to hold off as long as I possibly can. If I can make it the entire month, I will be super thrilled. And it's not like I'm going to roll over that amount of money to the next month. It just means that I was able to withstand getting some more. It's not like I need it. I have lots of wax here to warm. Um, and I'm going to keep on trying. I hope that if you're joining us, I hope that you're having an easy time withstanding purchasing some more. If you haven't been able to, I'm not here to judge. <laughs> I can totally understand. Um, but like, like if you were doing a, if you had done a resolution and you said, I'm not going to eat any sweets or whatever. And you know, you, you fall short one day. That's okay. You get back up the next day and you start over again. So if you did, you spent maybe more than you even wanted to, or you had yourself on a no buy and you bought something, you haven't messed anything up. You, you just fell a little bit and you get yourself back up, dust yourself off and start all over. Um, that's what we're here for. We're here to support each other and be the big cheerleaders for each other. And I, that's what I want to do for you. I hope that you are giving me the strength to um, withstand buying some right now. And I hope that I can help you with the same. Don't forget to check out all the other videos of what people warmed. And some of them I think already might have started um, uploading their melting basket for the following week. I have mine set to go up on Sunday. So I, um, hopefully you'll be back to see that. I hope that I haven't rambled too much. I hope that you'll be back. I hope that you enjoyed 
And I hope that you're having a wonderful weekend. And until next time, enjoy your sense, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.